And uh, by now, you probably can also guess why I would not op have opted for the um, uh, administrative services, the IAS or IPS, because someone with a with a mind like mine is probably not going to be a good fit. Okay, it's going to cost too much trouble, and and create all kind of issues for for what? myself, but for others. I mean, obviously, it, it is cycle style, it's not personally, but it's it's the president is pleased to appoint you sort of thing. And the day that letter came, I told my mom, I'm going to leave in 10 years. And she said, why do you say that? You know, it's such a good day today. You got your appointment letter, you've been selected and you're saying you're going to leave in 10 years. And I said, well, you know me, mom, you know, I won't be able to survive. I think I'm too difficult. And she just laughed and she knew by now she knew, you know, that I kind of think very differently. People know that in their hearts. Those kind of people will probably not be happy in civil. I was going to say won't survive. I think they might survive, but they will be unhappy. And there are a lot of unhappy people in the civil services. And the ones among them who are lucky like me and fortunate and you know want to take a risk, then they leave like your friend, like I did. Look, I told you before, I was a bit crazy in my youth and I think I still am. So one of the things which again, I have not mentioned is I had decided when I appeared for civil services that I will only attempt it one time, mm -hmm. just once, which anyone will tell you is a very stupid idea, by the way. Okay, but that was me then. I, today I don't know what advice I would give myself, but I said I'll only attempt it once.